sequels. Hollywood loves them, and film fans love to complain about them. With studios desperate to squeeze even the basest of horror concepts for one more blood-curdling scare, Hollywood's sequelitis has run as rampant in the horror genre as any other. But not every horror tale is worthy of a sequel, and most sequels fail to live up to the films that inspired them. Of course, there have been a few diamonds found in the bloody, mangled rough of horror flick sequels, so let's have a look at some of the all-time greats. Scream 2 Reteaming the cast and crew from 1996's surprise smash hit Scream, Wes Craven and company basically recycled the same formula for Scream 2, and that meta mix of comedy, mystery, and terror is just as fruitful the second time around. It helps that screenwriter Kevin Williamson, exceedingly well-versed in horror movie lore, crafted another blisteringly original screenplay for his Scream follow-up. Many sequels have surpassed their original. Oh, yeah? It succinctly lays out the rules for a horror movie before giddily following them to a T. The result is a film that knows when to make you laugh, when to make you cringe, and yes, when to make you scream. If only every sequel aspired to as much. Aliens When Ridley Scott brought his space set chiller Alien to the big screen in 1979, the film quite literally changed the definition of what a horror movie could be. Seven years later, fresh off the success of Terminator, cocky young director James Cameron released his hotly anticipated sequel, simply titled Aliens. To the surprise of fans and critics alike, the film packed just as visceral a punch as its predecessor, often even eclipsing Scott's film in terms of energy, effects, and unbridled terror. Whether or not you prefer Scott's claustrophobic slow burn approach to Cameron's action-packed, creature-heavy confection, Aliens is still widely viewed not just as one of the greatest horror sequels ever made, but one of the best sequels ever produced, period. Get away from her, you bitch! Friday the 13th Part 2 while few would argue the merits of Friday the 13th as great cinema, even its biggest detractors have to acknowledge the film's merits as a great slasher flick that scared up some unexpectedly impressive box office. It came as no surprise, then, that the film's producers wanted to revisit the formula in the form of a direct sequel. What was surprising was that they actually made a better movie the second time around. Make no mistake, Friday the 13th Part 2 is one of those rare sequels that actually is better than the original, even if its setup and execution are almost identical to the original. It doubles down on the action, resulting in a film that feels bigger, bolder, and bloodier than the original. It also happens to feature the debut of one of Slasherdom's biggest baddies, the one and only Jason Voorhees. <laughs> Dawn of the Dead Filmmaker George A. Romero essentially invented the zombie genre with his 1968 feature film debut, Night of the Living Dead. Little did we know, Romero was just scratching the surface. When he returned to the genre with 1978's Dawn of the Dead, viewers were subjected to the full force of Romero's caustic vision for Hell on Earth, with a sequel that included twice as much blood and gore and a far sharper satirical edge. The perfect storm of zombie fiction is as shocking to the eyes as it is to the intellect, and remains one of the greatest zombie movies, sequel or otherwise, in history. Wes Craven's New Nightmare A Nightmare on Elm Street is one of the greatest horror movies ever made, but the same sadly can't be said for the string of increasingly inferior sequels that followed it. It came as a bit of a surprise then when Craven himself, who hadn't directed for the franchise since the original, announced his return to Elm Street with 1994's Wes Craven's New Nightmare. That surprise turned to outright shock when New Nightmare turned out to be the smartest movie in the franchise. The film takes a daringly meta approach, with the formerly dream-stalking Freddy Krueger terrorizing the real-life cast and crew of the original film in the real world. New Nightmare sort of has no business being as good or as smart as it is, yet it's still easily the second-best film in the series. The Devil's Rejects Rob Zombie built a reputation as one of the more intriguing directors working in the horror genre on the strength of his debut film, the sadistically stylized House of a Thousand Corpses, and its equally stylish sequel, The Devil's Rejects. Behind a killer classic rock soundtrack and a razor-sharp screenplay that knows when to shock and when to pull a laugh, The Devil's Rejects is part road movie, part revenge thriller, and part gory grindhouse extravaganza that surpasses its predecessor in almost every way. Evil Dead 2 On paper, Sam Raimi's giddily gory classic Evil Dead didn't exactly scream for a sequel, even if it was sort of open for one. Evil Dead 2 is essentially the exact same story as the original, and is just as gory and grueling as you'd expect. It's also hysterically funny, this go-around, with Raimi's deliciously DIY aesthetic delivering ghoulish gasps and guffaws. You could say they just don't make them like this anymore, but then again, no one besides Raimi ever really did, and Evil Dead 2 is his one unmitigated masterpiece. <laughs> 
Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.